Hello everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my best tips, tricks and hacks for makeup and beauty. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you things like how to make your foundation look really flawless, how to make the pores on your nose disappear, and how to fix up little makeup mistakes that we all do. Just how to like clean up eyeshadow or clean up mascara, simple things like that. But anyway, I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the Maybelline channel so you're updated every time we upload new Maybelline Makeup Loft videos. And let's just get straight into it. Okay, so my first tip for you guys is all about priming. And this is going to sound really simple, but a lot of people actually don't realize this step is really important. So when you are priming your face, you really want to make sure you allow that primer to sink into the skin at least for a few minutes before you go in with foundation. Because if you just go in with foundation straight away, it will make your foundation slip off because that primer underneath has not sunk into the skin. So that's my first tip for you guys. I know it's simple, but it really, really works. So my next trick is really simple yet very, very effective. You guys don't need to go buy an eye primer. All you need is either a concealer or foundation and these both work exactly the same. They will cover all the discoloration on your eye, make your shadow stick better, look more vibrant and last longer. So you guys don't need to buy anything extra. And while you guys are doing this step, it's a really good time to maybe clean up those eyebrows. If you feel like you did do your eyebrows a bit messily or they're just a little bit too thick, concealer and foundation are your eraser. I love doing this step. I cannot go without it. It just makes my eyebrows look really nice and clean and sharp. Okay, so this next trick kind of tip I use all the time because I make such a big mess with my eyeshadows. So sometimes I blend up my shadow way too far or it starts to look a little bit muddy. So to fix this problem, I like to grab a pressed or loose powder. I'm using the Fit Me loose powder today and I run that along my brow bone and that just really smooths out everything. It also kind of erases some of that shadow. This is one of those tricks that will definitely save your makeup on a night out because there's been too many times where I've messed up my eyeshadow. So the next tip I've got, I have mentioned a few times in my previous videos, and that is curling your lashes, but not only curling them, you also have to make sure you pulsate that curler. So just kind of like opening and closing it, this will really help lift up those lashes. And then it's pretty simple. Just go in with mascara and you'll have some really nice propped up lashes that will last all day. So we all know that we've been here before. We've got mascara on our face. This is why I like to do my foundation last because I can just remove it with makeup remover without wrecking my foundation. But if you guys already do have your foundation on, just let that mascara dry and then you'll be able to kind of like scratch it off. This is also the perfect time to clean up your eyeshadow. I like to fold a cotton pad in half just so I get a really nice, clean, perfect line when I'm wiping away all that fallout. Okay, so my next trick is to make your foundation last really long. So what I like to do is grab a beauty sponge and some setting spray. So I'm using the Master Fix and I just kind of soak the sponge with it and then apply my foundation with the sponge. And I just find this really seals the foundation in and it does not go anywhere. So one of the problems I have when using a sponge to apply my makeup is the pores on my nose are very visible because the foundation just kind of sits on my skin. So what I like to do to hide these pores is grab a really small synthetic brush with foundation and just really buff that foundation into those pores. I know it kind of sounds gross, but this just helps so much and it completely makes those pores disappear. Okay, so this last tip is for my friends with dry lips and I suffer with dry lips all the time. I really like using the Superstay Matte Ink Lips, but when my lips are really dry, it can be uncomfortable for me. So what I like to do is put a lip balm on first and then go in with my lip color. Just be aware this will change the formula a little bit and make the lipstick not last as long as it normally would, but it still will look just as beautiful and you'll be much more comfortable. Okay guys, so those are my tips, tricks and hacks for today's video. I hope it was really helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up like I said before and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.